Hey, welcome to another episode of Electrical Theology Esoteric Life Coaching. I am your host, Charles. Thanks for joining me, guys. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and tickle the algorithms. Give it the like button, the share button, uh, notification bells, all that good stuff. And definitely leave comments. That helps the algorithms as well. Uh, so let's get started. Here. We like to deal in the uh, coaching of humans through transitional periods, um, and life is always transitioning. Uh, today is no different than any other time. There's always humans trying to control or enslave other humans, or we can call it galactic families trying to enslave other uh, galactic families and trying to control. For what reason do they want control? Just as you want control over your kids, you want con control over your money, Right? It gives us some uh, sense of security, some sort of safe feeling, some certainty. Um, but there are no certainties in life, guys. Uh, anything can happen at any time. I'm not saying this to scare you or be pessimistic. It's just realism. And this realism is the, is the program running the simulation. And we've talked a lot about simulation. Y'all can go back and watch about my last 10 videos. It's all about we're living in the simulation, people. And it is how you are going to practice interpreting. The reason for your the simulation is because you're practicing and interpreting different situations and scenarios about controlling other people, right? And part of that is once you become yourself, then you don't fall into a collective or being brainwashed by those who want to enslave you, right? If that makes sense. Um, because there's some that want all of the resources, they want all the diamonds, they want all of the banks, they want all the law firms, they want all the politicians. Why? Because they can easily buy and persuade uh, their way into controlling people. It's, it's the old frog in the pot, right? Everyone's in the pot right now. And through their persuasion techniques, that they, they be in the powers, you can go back to the old families, the uh, Rothschilds, any of these, and pretty much the Rothschilds ruled all the politicians, even uh, even J.P. Morgan went bankrupt and the Rothschilds bailed him out, guys. Um, and we can go to any other big name, and they're all controlled by the Rothschilds. Y'all can look into the history of Rothschilds and look at your own conclusion of who they are, what they are, and uh, look at their enslaving techniques. And the idea then is to strip away money, resources, and then they have control over you. Right? It's a basic premise of, of mind control. And so they Im input into the system a, a, a governing body that controls the mind uh, based off of their rules and regulations. And that's what we call the government. Now the government, once they control your money, once they take money out of or what you think is free money that you can exchange back and forth, dollar bills with other people, uh, or institutions, that's gone. Uh, you just don't know it's gone because they want you to have a sense of um, security or certainty. And uh, as long as they can pull that wool over your eye, they're going to have you in the long run because then they can have all the other people who go along with their program. And again, the programs are neither right nor wrong. You just have to figure out what you want to do about that program. It's like classes in college or school. You know, if you don't like them, go take another one. Right. Uh, or just don't go to the college, go to another college, or go to another institution, whatever. But the, the point I'm making is that um, once they take cash out of societies, and, and again, we've done many videos on this, but uh, and I've taught this for, for decades, is that once they take it, they have full control over you, and then it's linked to your social score. So if you say anything against the powers to be, a certain politician, if you don't go get your... Um, jabs that they say is good for you or if you uh, don't put your if you don't shut up and mask yourself then you won't be able to buy foods good services or even drive a car or get insurance right and so then they will have a alternative reality for you that they also control so just because you think you're on the outside who you think controlled that outside they do right just like a, uh, the powers of be control certain um, drug channels throughout uh, the, the United States and other countries, right? But we as, um, we'll call ourselves novice, 
right? We're going to start picking and choosing what we want or what we think is best for us. Now, again, this total domination can happen really super quick because they can cause any event that may seem man-made or natural-made. They can cause any of these events and then take out the powers that are resisting other factions, just like they put them all on the Titanic and then sank the Titanic and that changed the course of economics because they took out their competition. Um, but for us, we're going to just sit back and observe and uh, be ob ob observing of what's going on and then seeing what's going to be the best route for us or you as an individual. I can't speak for anyone else but myself. Because um, things are going to get heated up and they can get heated up fast. And um, so you're not on the defensive. You want to make sure you're on the offensive, but not on the negative offensive, but on a, or an insecure offensive. Um, but an understanding conviction that you are an individual and how can you still be within this controlling system that, that's going to control your money. And people are going to love it. They're going to get free money. Um, and they're not going to fight it because they don't want to fight. They've been tired of fighting. They've been tired of poor. They've been tired of not being able to have the nice stuff. And so they're going to be given the, the universal basal incomes or whatever. They're going to be given to people and they're going to be happy that now they can go buy a pair of Nike shoes that are, you know, whatever price. Um, so they're not going to fight back. That's what they're doing. They're fattening up and, and uh, beginning to give people free, more free and free and free money because then when they come out with a program that says, hey, you're, we're getting free money. You can now afford this lifestyle. We're going to give you this free house. You won't own it, but it's a nice house, right? And most people will accept that. But the people who, um, especially those who are tired of the fight, are going to give in because that's part of their program is to wear you down get you fat, get you lazy, put stuff in your food and drugs, and then that way you can't fight back, right? Or they can control the frequencies of which you watch TV, um, and they will make it law that you have to watch certain things. If not, they'll know it because you have to, you have to be online, right? Again, this is all uh, Orwellian and, and Ayn Rand and all that stuff, if you ever watched in there, or Ayn Rand stuff. Uh, you, you, you know what I'm already talking about, so I'm sort of preaching to the choir. And so... Um, What, in one sense, you love to do in life, you're not going to be able to do without the control or the direction of what you may think is your own decisions aren't going to be yours or being persuaded and manipulated all the way, which they already are in one sense. Um, but eventually, like any of these systems, they will topple. There will be a revolt. There will be people who fight back. There will be people who will get rid of those as they have in history in the past who control the banking, the diamond mines, the media, right? Every civilization has overthrown those in power um, because there's only a few running this. But if they can manipulate the others, but once the tide turns and then people, more than 20% of the population fight back, then they know they can lose control. Um, but for right now, you have to figure out what's good for you, for your family. Um, and again, all this is in a simulation. I know this is hard to understand, but... You are in this simulation, but it's the program that's being ran is supposed to, in one sense, control you so you can break free and emanci emancipate yourself from the digital control, right? So once that happens, you can then go into other programs consciously, um, lucid, and then reprogram the program from within because the ultimate program, the ultimate simulation for a lot of people are in control of other people or other beings. And it's that program that we need to go in there and infiltrate and then wipe out their programming of controlling and enslaving others for their purpose. So for us, it's about individualism to get in there, know that we're in a program, and then fight back and reprogram the program. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. Hopefully it was interesting or just makes your thought, you know, your head go, hmm. Right? And that's what I'm here to do is just to provoke and, and get you to start thinking that if this, this were a scenario that will happen in this program, what are you going to do about it? All right, guys. Again, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Appreciate your love and peace and all that good stuff. See ya.